welcome back to another eyeshadow swatch video. Today we're doing the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette, which admittedly is not totally brand new in my collection. Uh, we can tell I have uh, dipped into some of these before, but I realized, hey, I apparently never reviewed or swatched that one. I should do that. So here we freaking are. <laughs> um, I did my emerald one. I realized I never did my amethyst one. I was like, oh, bad on me for that. So anyway, let us go right ahead and dip right in. So this first shade up here, we're going to just dip in. It's very velvety. It's a little more than that. Okay, so here's what we're looking like. And <laughs> let's try to find a way to do this. Okay, so it goes on like that. So actually, it's like kind of in between like magenta to purple. Like there's definitely like a lot of pink in there, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just making an observation. So middle on the top row. Looks like we got a nice glitter shade up here. Ooh, that should be beautiful. So that one. Oh yeah. I mean, lots of fallout, but look how sparkly though makes up for it. So, <laughs> there's that. Okay. Third shade in is another matte, and looks like it'll be lighter than the first one in the row. So that one... Yeah, it'll definitely be lighter. And also dies pretty fast, but that's okay. One can work with that, can build it up. Okay. Fourth shade. Okay. Maybe the deepest one in here, actually. Ooh. It's like a smoky plum. That's pretty. We're going quick just because this isn't the full review. I have to play with all the colors write down my thoughts on them, like we always do when I review palettes, so that'll be its own video, but I'll link back to this one whenever I get around to doing that one. Okay, the middle shade, the most reflective one of them all. The one that I have also unsurprisingly used the most. Aw, oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's like a pinky purple with like an almost, well on camera it's almost like a greenish blue reflect, but in person it's just very, very pink, but it's really pretty regardless. Okay. So, end of that row, we've got this deep, almost bluey violet, is that violet? I think it's violet. Where's the orchid? Eh, it's one of the two. Ooh, I take about that's the darkest one, but holy shit, look how pretty that is. That's like a vibrant, vibrant purple. Oh, I'm into that. Yes. Yes. So then that brings us to the bottom row, where we have this guy that'll probably be quite pink, and that's okay. It'll complement all the purples well. Like a pinkier version of that one, but yeah. Okay. Man, I'm running out of room on this arm. The middle one on the bottom. Ooh. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Like a purple tiger. <laughs> like a Lisa Frank tiger. There we go. And finally, the last shade. We've got this guy over here. Ooh. I'm actually going to do it up here instead of at the bottom because I like ran out of room. Ooh. Look at that. It's not a super high reflect like some of these, but it is shimmery. 
that is pretty. I like that. So those are all of the swatches from the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. It's a very, very nice palette if you love the color purple. So just saying, I'm going to have some fun playing with this. And especially if I can crank out another tutorial like I did for the Garnet one this month. Because I want to do one for this month too for Amethyst. And here we go. This literally has Amethyst right in the name. I don't know how many shades from this I will realistically use for that look. I have some ideas, but we'll see. I'll try to at least, just for concept of the whole thing, use at least one shade from it, but I don't know if I'll use all shades from that. But anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.